Hi guys, Soko here. Uh, this video is gonna be like a kind of a tutorial, I guess, of how I color my semi realistic portraits. Um, yeah, so I have a I have a, a sketch here already since this is just coloring. So I have a sketch already, and uh, first thing I do is uh, I fill in the whole uh, the whole space you want to color I fill it with some kind of desaturated blue uh, and I also make the background gray but that's just my personal preference because I don't like painting on the white background it, it just hurts my eyes so there is that uh, but yeah you fill uh, the background, like the place you, on a different different layer, you fill it with blue, some kind of desaturated blue. Then I uh, copy this layer and I clip it. Uh, yeah, and I clip it. This is just, I will explain in a second. But also, the brush I use is just a heavily uh, blending brush it's uh, it packs very little color but it blends it blends really well uh, I will have my brush info linked in the description of this video but yeah here's the settings for my brush okay I also have a reference of my character here so I can pick colors from it just to make my life a bit easier. <laughs> so yeah, let's pick the skin color. And then on this clipped layer, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be painting on the clipped layer so it blends the colors. If I didn't have this copied layer here, and I just made a new layer and clipped it, the colors wouldn't blend. So that's why I work on this copied blue layer. And I just randomly fill the spaces that are supposed to have the color with my base colors first. I don't pack too much color, so you have the variety in colors, if that makes sense. Yeah, just base color first, so his hair color pick the green fill the hair where it should be green it can be sloppy at first we're gonna fix it later the lighter color on the ends of his hair and then the brown, I mean it's black, but we're not gonna use like full on black, we're gonna use a very desaturated color. That's just what I prefer. Fill in the spaces that are supposed to be black. His eyebrows. Ah, uh, yep more green for the hair here and here then his eyes are very green so let's color pick that we're just working on this one layer the whole time white not super white but like white for the whites of his eyes and for his teeth okay so now that we have the base colors they are all very desaturated and sloppy oh, wait the earrings i missed the earrings let's make them darker a bit so they stand out a little bit okay now we have the base colors and we can start having some fun so as you can see in the reference, uh, around his eyes he has this like red and uh, purple color, so we can have some fun with that. I'm gonna 
uh, color pick his skin color once more and then make it darker and more saturated and put it around his eyes some on his nose on his ears and around his mouth maybe around his neck to a little bit his Adam's apple some of his like close to his shoulders then I'm gonna be pick some red do the same go closer to the corners of his eyes with this color some on his ears nose yeah, and now we can put on some shading. So I'm gonna go with like a weird like brown color, put in some shading. Uh, the most important places you need to detail are the eyes because people naturally are drawn to the eyes of the character. So pay the most attention to them the rest can be more sloppy and people won't notice it as much let's shade the ears a little bit now let's play with that purple and uh, blues around his eye bags just, you can just randomly put colors in some places and it will make it more interesting, especially that we're not going for realism. This is just semi-realism. Maybe on his nose. Some ears. Sure. Okay. Now let's go with some of our the saturated blue and do some cold shadows around the shoulders under the chin on his neck maybe under his lips under the nose definitely some around his hair And the ears maybe the eyes too yeah it will definitely work around the eyes since he has the tired look and the ears can go with that so we're gonna go with that some darker shading in the nostrils yeah pretty much okay maybe let's color pick this and given that Cupid's bow or whatever it's called yeah now we can go for the eyes I like to shade the whites of the eye with some baby blue just so it's not gray looks better in my opinion and then highlights with the lightest white you can get now we're gonna go for that um, for the colors his eyes are green so let's let's shade that a little bit just just do what you think looks nice <laughs> and that should work give him irises I guess some darker color up there because it's covered partially by the lid and then I like to go with some red put it in the corners and down like a water line or whatever it's called yep and now we have a lot of shading but we have no highlights so for skin I like to use like very very light yellow 
or baby blue but we're gonna start with yellow tip of the nose a little bit of highlight around here some on his lips here on the um, eye bags I guess and then what I usually do is put these lines in here it just looks nice in my opinion so I do it then I put some highlights over the brows because we have brow bones there and a little bit in the middle of the forehead and then blend it now it looks way better with highlights <laughs> maybe we should do some on the neck too yep let's put some red here actually too okay so now we have the face pretty much shaded maybe we'll go in with some more color after we do the hair but oh yeah i skipped this he has like some bruises here so let's fill them with some red dark red like dried blood or something like that maybe some highlights Put a streak of blood on his like here something like that should be fine maybe a little bit of darker color I'm gonna shade it with very dark blue because why not put some more where the should be the most shadows And yeah, I'm satisfied with the face, so let's go in and do the hair. I usually just half ass the hair because I don't know how to do it properly, but here, here is how I do it. I put the darkest uh, color in this part of the brows. And then here where the hair grew more sparsely, it's lighter. And same for here, most shading here, so we go with the darkest color closer to the root, even though it's not really hair, hair grows. But we'll do it like this, and then some lines make it look nice kind of like hair even though it doesn't have to have much detail let's put some darker color in his beard to kind of fill it in so it doesn't look so like so dull i guess <laughs> like he cannot grow a beard Put the darkest color uh, around his jawline. That looks quite nice. And let's go into that green color. Let's color pick again his main hair color. And go in with some lines maybe. You cannot really see it. Okay, let's go for something darker. Oh. And just shade, follow the sketch you have. You can randomly put in some shading. Then let's go for the very light color. Because his hair has a washout color at the end. 
So let's try and show that. And now we can play with some color, maybe add some very desaturated blue where the shade is. Maybe here in the back a little bit. And let's do some highlights with very, very light yellow. Just some random lines where it would catch the light. It doesn't have to be precise. And now we pretty much have most of the colors done. Now we can merge these, make it into one layer. Now we're gonna deal with the line art. I don't want it to be this dark. So we're gonna make a new layer and then clip it so we can just put colors just in the line art. I'm gonna pick some red and an airbrush, very, uh, very low percentage of color packing here. We don't want too much color. And pretty much change the color of it at the bottom of the eyes. These lines that do not have much meaning don't have to be black. Then these on the nose. Here where there is shadow we can leave them black. Put some red on this. Maybe outside of the ears. I like to do it like in the middle of the lips too. Now it looks more delicate. Let's maybe do some here too. And then let's get some desaturated, quite dark green, like a middle darkness. And go with that color in some parts of the hair. You don't need to fill the whole line art. But to just make it a bit lighter gonna do the same or maybe use some blue here the eyes and some deep green here now as more or less a final touch this character has freckle, freckles and freckles aren't black. So we're gonna change the color of the freckles for some mid-tone brown. We want them to fully color, so we're gonna pick a brush that packs color, a lot of color, and we're just gonna color in the freckles. And maybe add a little bit of the same brown or a bit darker with an airbrush to the beard to give it some color variety. Now we're gonna merge those two layers. And looking at it, I think we need some more definition around the eyes. So we're gonna do just that, pick some Dark blue with our blending brush and, and on the color layer we're just gonna give it a bit more definition and blend with some reds maybe so it's not too harsh Maybe put some darker color in this part of the nose too. And some highlight here. Just to make it a bit more interesting. Same here around the lips. 
and blend it a bit. Let's make the lips a bit more red. Yeah, now that looks a bit better. Maybe some darker shading here. Now it's just a matter of like looking at what still could be improved and adding simple touches. Let's give him a little bit of highlight on the cheekbones. And maybe some more color on the forehead because it's looking a bit too blue. Maybe let's make the eyes a tiny bit more interesting. With a bit more, let's go on another layer and add some highlights. Maybe a little bit of blue. That may be a bit too, too dark. Yeah, that looks quite fine. Now I'll, on a layer uh, over the line art, I like to add the harshest highlights. that put it a bit more together maybe some more on the nose just to make it pop a little bit maybe not and that's pretty much it we have the, the color portrait how I like to finish them is I will copy these, merge them and put them under, uh, make another layer, clip it, fill it fully with white and then fill it with a bucket maybe three to four times so we have this uh, border around the character that makes it pop a little bit. Then I go in, fix the edges that don't look quite the best. It won't look perfect because Fire Alpaca doesn't really have an option to just make a border like this. You have to improvise. And yeah, that's the finished portrait. I hope you learned something here, something new. And let me know if you want any more tutorials. And if I feel like I can make one on the topic, I will. So see you guys in the next one. Cheers.